Disclaimer, no copyright infringement intended. The photos and the information the presentation contains do not belong to me, and the owners are rightfully credited in the references by the end of the presentation. This wonderful attraction in Bataan. The remains is three culture, preserve architecture, and sensational of a local Filipino. Introducing Bataan! Bataan is dubbed as the history hub of Central Luzon because of its significant role in historical events. It was also in World War II that the province had earned its place in, in the annals of World War history. This is the three days and two nights travel itinerary in Bataan. Here are the requirements that you need to prepare before going to Bataan. Vaccination certificate from boxer.toh.gov.ph for fully vaccinated. For fully vaccinated individuals are exempted from presenting a negative COVID-19 test. They should present a vaccination certificate from boxer.toh.gov.ph. Secure a negative RT-PCR test result for unvaccinated and partially vaccinated. All unvaccinated and partially unvaccinated travelers must secure a negative RT-PCR test taken 48 hours within their arrival in Bataan. Book at accredited Bataan hotels and resorts. A booking confirmation with any of, a, of the accredited Bataan hotels and resorts is required when going to the province. Once you're in Bataan, make sure you follow the safety protocols. Minimum health standards, mask and face shields, tourists must wear face masks, face shields, sanitize hands regularly, and observe proper social distancing, especially in public areas. This is to help combat the spread of COVID-19. Departure varies between 5 a.m. depending on traffic forecast and season. Exact time will be provided before your trip. Three hours by a MacArthur Highway. Day 1 at 5 a.m., tourists will arrive at Las Casas Filipinas de Acusar. Las Casa Filipina de Acosar is an extremely beautiful place where you can learn a lot about Filipino culture and history. It has so much to discover and to do. You can easily be busy for 3 days or more, or just enjoy their beautiful and clean beach. Next stop is Boat People Museum, a very memorable place for refugees of Vietnam War. Though this place is stuck in the winding roads of Moral Bataan. Lunch will be held at Lalin Sutiwan. You can find out the best special and best selling dish hutiu. A hearty noodle soup that's more Chinese than Vietnamese in Morong. Giving guests a special noodle soup that will surely satisfy their appetite. Afterwards, the tourists will be going to Our Lady Pilar Church. Pilar Church it has brick walls that make its facade very attractive. This was built since the 1740s and withstood severe earthquakes and man-made disasters. Truly a great work of art, Our Lady Pilar Church is a wealth of history and culture. A weekend conservation center located in Barangay ng Balayong is a home devoted to raise awareness about the preservation and of endangered marine turtles, a plaque called Olive Ridley. The coastline where the Pawican Conservation Center sits is placed to the original nesting sites of this endangered species. It is managed by the people who used to be poachers turned into protectors of these sea creatures. And aside from that, the Japan-Philippines Friendship Tower is a historical landmark located in Bagak, Bataan. After years of strife and savagery during World War II, the Philippines surrendered to Japan to establish friendly ties. And in 1975, the Philippine-Japanese Friendship Tower in Bagak was inaugurated. A significant part of the Philippine history, this is one of the top tourist spots in Bataan. The tourists will dinner at Crossroad Restaurant Bar at Bagak. 
8.30 p.m. back to hotel and rest. Day 2. The wake-up call is 7 a.m. in the morning and the guests may take full advantage of the hotel's free breakfast. To continue the tour, Mount Samat or Dambana ng Kagitingan. On our second day, we must visit one of the country's most iconic landmarks as well as one of the tourist attractions in Bataan. In early 1942, Mount Samat was the site one of the bloodiest battles between the Allied forces and the Imperial Japanese Army during the Battle of Bataan. After Mount Samat or Dambana ng Kagitingan, tourists will travel to Mount Samat War Museum. One of the most interesting highlights of the War Museum is the huge diorama of Bataan depicting the events during the Second World War. And next stop is Tinsola Falls. It's an aesthetically pleasing waterfall and likely the most accessible waterfall in the province of Bataan. It really does make a great follow-up to your visit to the top of Mount Samat. Located at the right mountain's foot and it is refreshing at least as much it's enjoyable. Then at 12 noon, visit the Aling Milas Mami and Goto at Pilar. Goto, also known as Arscado con Goto, is a Filipino rice and beef trap growled cooked with ginger and garnished with toasted garlic, scallions, black pepper, and chicharron. It is usually served with calamansi, soy sauce, or patis as condiments, as well as a hard-boiled egg, and it is a type of a lugaw. Then after lunch, Tourists must visit the 0 km Dutch Mark Marker, Bataan's most gruesome piece of history, a testament to one of the most gruesome parts of Philippines' war history. The 0 km Dutch Mark Marker marks the start of point of a certain march where thousands of Filipino and American soldiers died. During 200 meters from the Philippine and Japanese Friendship Tower in Bagak, the first of 138 death march markers can be found. After a long tour, the tourists will dinner at Magpay Sinampalukan Lechon Manok at Bagak. And at 8 p.m., the tourists will be back to hotel and rest. For the last day of tour, you will have your breakfast first at your accommodation. And after breakfast, proceed to check out. Ate Souvenir Shop by Tita Feli is a famous souvenir shop to buy souvenirs before you leave in Bataan. And the tourists will lunch at Fernando's Restaurant. At 4 p.m., depart for Manila. And 8 p.m. is the estimated time of arrival at Manila. And that's the end of our tour from Bataan. Let us now proceed to the tour costing of our group package for 3 days and 2 nights for 40 packs. For the transportation, the tour bus you will be paying cost 1,120.53 pesos per person. For the accommodation, you will be staying at Las Casas Filipinas de Acuzar. Net, net rates are based per room, inclusive of taxes and subcharge, with the amount of 9,722 pesos. And for the entrance and environmental fees, the other local destination is free. For the Pawican Conservation Center, cost 30 pesos per pax. Philippine Japanese Friendship Tower cost 800 pesos per pax. Mount Samat or Damban Kagitingan cost 50 pesos per pax. Mount Samat War Museum 20 pesos per pax. And Tree Hopping Adventure and Donsola Falls cost 400 pesos per pax with a total of 1,300 pesos per person. And please be reminded that the rates are subjected to change without prior notice. And for your food, your lunch at Aling Milas Mami and Goto at Pilar cost 500 pesos per pax, while your dinner at Crossroads Resto Bar cost 500 pesos with a total of 1,000 pesos. And for the local tour guide fee, you'll be paying 200 per head. Souvenirs cost 150 pesos. And for the miscellaneous fee, we have contingency fund cost 150 pesos. Travel insurance and operational expenses cost 100 pesos with an overall total of 13,892.53 pesos. And for the free of charge, we will be multiplying the overall total to the 2 free of charge or FOC then dividing it 40 paying packs resorting the amount of 694.63 pesos which is the amount of the FOC by adding 13,892.53 pesos 
and the amount of for the FOC which 694.63 we will having the net per person of 14,587.16 pesos. And for the markup of 25%, we will be multiplying the 14,587.16 by 0.25 to get the markup of 3,646.80 pesos. Now for our selling price, we will be adding the net per person, which is 14,587.16 plus markup 3,646.80 to get the selling price of 18,234 pesos. And for the commission of 10%, we will be multiplying the selling price of 18,234 to 10% to get the commission of 1,823.4 per pax. And for the net to travel agency, we will be deducting the commission of 1,823.4 to the selling price of 18,234 to get the net to travel agency of 16,401.6 per box or per person.